didn't have that 2020 vision. So they started working on the culture and they stopped moderating their internal conversations on these internal social networks. And then they encouraged people not only to say, well, say whatever you want, we're not going to stop anybody, you know, outside of, you know, obviously hate uh, literature and, you know, criticizing other people's, you know, clothes and things like that. Um, you can say whatever you want. They not only said, I'm not going to, not only am I not going to monitor you, I'm going to give every one of you, every employee from the part-time employee, from the janitor right up to the CEO, the opportunity to create your own forum, start your own discussion, engage anybody, eavesdrop on any other conversation going on amongst anybody, including the executives. Complete free reign. That scared them at first, but then they, under they understood that they had to have that culture change. And the only way to do it was to create those enablement policies and not punitive policing policies around that. That's the only way they were gonna get rid of the culture uh, problem and the ego problem. So what happened? One of the first case studies that came out of this, an employee, and I'm gonna call him employee A, so this is at a bank, so imagine the retail part of the bank. Um, you know when, when you have a check and you're gonna sign a check or cash a check, they're gonna check your signature. What most banks do, or this, this particular bank, and I think most of them do, is they go to your file card, right? And they'll look for your card that you signed when you created the account, and then they're gonna verify your uh, signature with the check. A lot of them don't do it, not because they have another option, but only because they're just, oh, whatever, I know you, or I'm just too lazy to go and do it. So there was all kinds of problems that were being created. From a customer service uh, perspective, it was bad because they had to go find a card, and it kept you waiting. From the bank's perspective, it was bad because a lot of them just weren't doing it because they didn't want to piss off the customer. So employee A says, you know what, this is silly. We have all of this technology in this bank. Why can't we just you know, pull up a, a digital signature on screen when I see their profile that I could verify right here. It's instant, it's like the simplest thing to do, I could do it. And he went on to the uh, internal social network and he posted this idea, he goes, guys, this has been bugging me for a while. And he just posted it out there to the internal universe. Well, uh, somebody, uh, the branch manager at another branch said, you know what, somebody mentioned that to me. And then somebody from the HR department said, you know what, in an exit interview, somebody mentioned that to me. And so all of a sudden, people across different departments were, were saying, yeah, that happened. Yeah, I agree with that. You know what, that bothers me too. Well, the CEO of this bank saw the stream caught, that caught his attention, and he said, I'm going to eavesdrop on this. So he eavesdropped on the conversation. He didn't participate, and so everybody was coming around, they were coming up with ideas, and this employee A started leading a discussion because he knows a thing or two about computers, and he started leading a conversation as to how this could actually be implemented in the bank. The CEO, after three weeks of, or sorry, after two weeks of this conversation that was going around internally, said, chimed in and says, guys, I've been listening to you for a little while. I think it's a brilliant idea. Employee A, I want you to spearhead a project team to implement this, and I've just approved the budget of this to make it happen, right? Great story. Do you know who that person was, pro or, uh, employee A was? He was a part-time employee that worked Saturday mornings only while he was in his first year of college, okay? That part-time employee was given the project management lead on a technology or on a piece of software that was going to be implemented across the entire organization. What other organization could it have happened within three weeks like that, or within two weeks, excuse me? Imagine that. Idea flash mob. The power is incredible.